Hi everyone, this is Mikemus. You may have seen my video yesterday on a 2-bit switch with a carryover. I have expanded that switch. It is now a 3-bit switch and I have done that by stacking a 3rd bit vertically onto the 2-bit you saw yesterday. That's what you see here. Now let's go down. Here's your 2-bits. It's getting a little darker, no big deal. Um, essentially what we have here is our C carryover from our first bit. It's pretty enormous. Um, but yeah, you got it all right here. And here's your output. It's a 4 signal. Right now I'm outputting 111, which is 15. That's the maximum it can do. Um, the way you get that is over here. I have an input. Bear trap! Ah! Okay, good. Um, over here, my C, with all three activated on each. That's 111 plus 111, which is 6 plus 6 in binary, plus the carryover with full cycle it's 3, so that's 6 plus 6 plus 3, which is 15. Um, it's pretty simple. Basically, you just add these three sections here, their input with this three sections input right here. And I'm messing that stuff up. There you go. So 101, which is 5, plus 100, which is 4, is 9, and no carryover. Um, it should carry over on the second cycle if I remember correctly. Um, but what we're doing here is we're going to go check. So 5 plus 4 is 9, which is 1001. There you go. 1000 is 8, 1001 is 9. So it works. It's big, but it works. Each cell is 23 by 19. Um, pretty big. Um, a little bigger than I'd like. So what I did was I busted open the redstone simulator, took that, and I took what wasn't necessary, um, just kind of piled it together, and that's what you're seeing now. Right here. Let me go up pretty high. I know it's dark, but, you know, kind of wanted to show it now that it's done and I got work early in the morning. Um, but yeah, what you see here now is a 2-bit array. It's been optimized. Um, I have optimized it pretty well, actually. Um, you have your first bit and your second bit, and then the carryover that I'm pointing to right here with a bridge. Each br carryover is bridged across uh, behind the output and switch for the S output. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool. Um, also, another cool treat about doing it this way, since it's so much smaller, um, I don't have these long redstone cords, so I save a lot of redstone. Actually, I've saved a third of the redstone, so it only takes like 60 now. Um, but I also removed um, these repeaters. These repeaters add a sixth of a second each. So by removing one repeater each on the C circuit, I've actually shaved a sixth of a second off the calculation time on C throughput, which means I've actually saved six of a second per bit. So on this two bit, I've actually saved um, a third of a second. So this you are seeing right now is actually a third of a second faster in calculating its additional, um, it's an addition um, on a two bit scale uh, than the one you saw yesterday. So that's a treat, huh? And right now it's displaying 111, which means it's displaying six, or actually seven. 111 is seven. So 111 is 7, and I just realized I said 101 earlier was <laughs> uh, 6. I'm an idiot. Um, 101 is 7. I don't even know why I said that. But 101 is 7. Um, and the carryover only counts as 1. I don't even know why I said any of that, but ignore that. 101 is 7. So now that we've addressed 101 is 7, I will just go ahead and show you another calculation and how to do the calculations. Um, you have your inputs, which is A1N. Uh, B1N, A2N, and B2N. The way this works is um, it reads, you input right to left and you read it left to right. So this right here, B2, is paired with B1. So 0 and then B2. So this is 1, 0. And then A2 is paired with A1, 0. 1. So 1, 0 is 2. And 0, 1 is 1. So that should be 2 plus 1, which is 3. So it should be 1, 1. Hopefully I haven't jacked it up by putting that C in there, which would make it um, 4. Here we go. 
Here it is, CN. So by having that CN, that made it 4, as you can see, which was 1, 0, 0. Well, now it's 3, as it should be, which is what we wanted. There you go. 0, 1, 1, 3. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, I'm planning on making this stackable, as you can see. It only occupies 3 cubes of uh, space to prevent interference. Um, so that's pretty awesome. I could essentially have it four wide and, and one high or two high and have eight bits and be able to make some pretty good calculations. Um, but yeah, so all this stuff is pretty cool. All these gates are legit. This is actual uh, electronic stuff that you're seeing here. So these um, XOR gates and this AND gate that I'm on top of right now with this bridge, things like that, you can actually look these things up. Um, so this, this stuff actually correlates. Um, so I'd say um, check it out for yourselves. Uh, I'll go ahead and post an image of the layout that I have, and you guys can throw it up yourself if you understand Redstone Simulator. I highly recommend getting it if you're interested in creating these uh, adders at all, or an ALU, which is pretty cool. I uh, didn't know anything about binary really, or adders, or ALUs until about three days ago, and here I have all this stuff I've made. You know, quite a bit of stuff. Cleared this all and been working like crazy. I have a little farm in all of it too. So yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments or you know helpful hints, uh, feel free to comment. Um, and I'll close with this little clock here which is actually a real second. When the door opens, it's a second, and when it closes, it's a second. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Take care.